This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the RD-180 engine roars to life and liftoff for the maiden flight of the Lockheed Martin Atlas III rocket with the W-4 spacecraft on board for Eutelsat of Paris, France. With this Atlas flight underway, let's listen to Mr. Rob Gannon providing ascent data from the telemetry lab here at the Mission Center. We have Atlas to Eutelsat loop control. Engine operating parameters continue to look normal. You look good. The vehicle is now throttling down in preparation for supersonic transition. It continues to fly normally. Everything looks good. Operating parameters continue to look normal. We're on GDMTA data. Data quality looks good. Expecting to throttle up uh, post transonics in 15 seconds. Everything continues to look normal. We are throttling up. Vehicle rates look nice and smooth. Throttle up is complete. Everything looks good. And we're now passing through the region of maximum dynamic pressure. And rates are smoothing out as we're passing through transonics. And everything continues to look normal on the engine. Staying steady at 87% thrust. Next mark event we're looking for is firing the pyro valve to pressurize the reaction control system in 15 seconds. Engine parameters continue to look good. And we fire the pyro valve. Reaction control system parameters are pressurizing. And we're entering our next throttle segment. Engine operating normally. Everything looks good. Engine operating param parameters continue to look marvelous. PU is showing active control. Preparing to enter our next throttle segment, the constant 5.5G hold throttle segment. And we have boost phase chill down starting. Housing temps are responding to the flow of fuel through the Centaur engines. Everything looks good.